Welcome back yet again, and I'll probably be saying that a lot if this gets popular. If it doesn't, then oh well. Um, now we're ready to make, I'm going to show you how to make, uh, I'm going to explain to how to make uh, yogurt tortillas. And then we're going to do a tangerine sauce with it. And um, let's get started. So I've got some, these are yogurt tortillas. They look just like the regular tortillas. The difference is, there is, uh, where's my notes? So I tell you the right amount. There's uh, four tablespoons of yogurt, and the yogurt I like to use is called Faya. Right here, Faya. And it says Faya right here. Faya. So that's the type, it's really thick. I the first time using it I like it I really do it's got the um, it doesn't it's just basic yogurt it's there's no um there's no anything else except just the basics no dyes it's really thick so let me put this back in the refrigerator keep it nice and cold okay so you want to put four tablespoons of yogurt into your two cups of flour and half teaspoon of uh, baking soda. And then what you want to do is you want to do the milk about, I'd say about six ounces, because you got to compensate for the fact that you're adding the yogurt. Now the yogurt isn't going to be really liquidy. <laughs> it's going to be really thick, like you're sticking like, it's going to be like putting butter, really room temperature butter into the flour and it's gonna you just have to kind of work it in with the spatula so about six ounces and remember depending how much flour you had have you might have to add a little bit more milk and that's okay so if you don't have enough milk just get your pan out put about three tablespoons or however much you go work by tablespoons heat it up feel it put it in work it around if it needs some more because I had to do that with this this is a new batch of dough and I had put in not enough milk so I had to actually do what I'm recommending so that's a process it's it's, it's not going to be again it's not going to be perfect every single time you scoop the flour it's it just goes back and forth back and forth you add a little bit more flour if it's too wet, you add a little bit of milk. If it's too, if it's too uh, dry, and then let me show you the dough again. And again, nice and pliable, doesn't stick. So that's great. And so uh, here's my tangerines. And what I was concealing in my pot was tangerines have already been deseeded. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So just break your tangerine apart all the way until they're little segments. And then what you want to do is you're going to take your knife, stick it right in the middle, pull up and squeeze it. You'll feel the seed inside, you just squeeze the seed out. Now you might miss a few seeds that, you know, the little tiny ones, but they'll come out when it cooks or you might get one. I'm sure it won't be that bad, like huge. Just spit it out. There's a seed. Squeeze it. Oh, there's this one has two seeds. Okay. And one more after this. Some of them don't have any seeds that speed the process up. Okay, voila. Now these are really sweet. And where's the good old sugar? Oh, there it is. 
It's up to you. Depends how much sugar you want to put in it. If you want to put a lot of sugar, you can. And if you want to put a little sugar, you can. So it's, it's up to you. I like to put a little sugar because these tangerines I have right here are really sweet. And I want the flavor of the tangerine and I don't want the flavor of the sugar to overbear it. And so what I usually do is I got a lot of tangerines in here this time. So I'm probably going to put one tablespoon of sugar in there. And that should suffice. But that thing is packed. Put the sugar back. Shake it so the sugar goes to the bottom. And then the resulting liquid from the tangerines will drain down and help the boom. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, um, I hope that wasn't a bad boom. Gee whiz. You'll never know what happens on this show. <laughs> Did you hear that, Chris? What was it? Okay. Anyway, back to the show. Um, put that on, let's see, back burner, not the front burner. Put that on a little bit, put it on low, a little bit, le uh, a little bit higher than low, but generally low because you don't want to, you don't want to cook the crap out of it. Okay, so let's put that lid back on here because that's still good. Take a drink. And here is an apple pie, um, um, pie dish. There we go. And here's my egg. So right now we're going to make, while that's heating up, we're going to make the tortillas. Like I told you, I told you we're going to do, we're going to dip these in egg, cook them. And I promise I'll try not to burn them this time. Um, and then I'll show you how to uh, put the crepe together because this can be a crepe without the eggs and crepes have a lot of eggs in them and if you dip this in an egg and fry it on both sides it still can be a crepe and they're very delicious for breakfast so here's my pan this is my baby I got this at the thrift store for four bucks and it's great it's it doesn't have to be brand new it's got a slight little you can see it's got a slight little dent in the bottom. Who cares? It works. It does everything I need it to do. And it's a, it doesn't have to be a hundred dollars to be a good kitchen utensil. It doesn't have to come from the most expensive. Uh, my pet pee is William and Sonoma. They make you buy every single item for every single recipe you make. It's crap stick to the cheap stuff cheap stuff excuse me is better see i'm getting i'm getting that enraged i'm spinning in Rawr! okay well this isn't a plug for william sonoma but i can't stand william sonoma it's they make you you're spending money and it's it's not you don't need that it's like i told you the roller get a two dollar roller it does the job go cheap it saves you money and it's not there's so many people that buy all the bling hotware and it's 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 not worth it. unless you're a professional chef and you're going to go out and have a huge restaurant then go ahead and get the big the, the most expensive thing you can okay i gotta stir the tangerines on low they're bubbling so and you want to squish them squish 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 and because that releases the juice okay I mean, I got these off a tree, so they're really good. If you can, try to get the fruit off a tree. I mean, really, if, if you know where there's a tree, even you have to pay, it's that much better. And okay. Crack your egg. Drop your egg. Okay. Trash. There we go. Okay. Okay. Remember the 
butter I peeled. Well, it's back for its debut, its second debut. Um, and I, I have used it because you can see it's a little bit down. But here we go again. You want to turn this on. Turn it on. Uh, make sure it's back burner. Uh, low. The soup should be renamed low cooking. Everything can be cooked on low. And then you take it. And it's already melting. So just coat the bottom. Nice and good. This is a big pan. And it's deep. That's what I like about it. I can I can break open a whole package of beef and just slam it right in there. And it's it's like this other pan. Can't do that with. Damn, I got some stuff on the bottom here I gotta clean off, but um that's the fun part of cleaning the pan when it accidentally that's from that's from me burning the tortilla. See that? So still working on it. It might have a episode I'm just going scrubbing on it. Okay, well enough of that pan. Okay, now let's get a fork. And you want to dredge the tortilla in the in the egg. Flip it over and make sure there's no dry spots. Mm, that looks really good. Oh, I see a seed. There, got it. Okay. But make sure there's no dry spots on your tortilla because if there is, it won't. It won't, for some reason, it'll stay a little bit, not hard, but it won't cook as well. It'll cook, don't worry, it'll cook. It's just, I like to cover it. Okay, let it drip off, or take it over with the tray. Stick it in. Have your fork, uh, your fork, fork, F-O-R-K. That almost came out wrong, it's fork. Boy, that was a slip up. Okay, I think we're a little bit long. Okay, so get your handy dandy potato masher out if it's flat, even if it is, and I got another one in here. It's a little bit different. And oh, there it is. Here's another shaped one. Still does the same thing, flat. And oh, use both of them. There we go. See, holds it down. Not too heavy. And make sure it cooks because sometimes they bubble up okay well i'll see you later i'm going to continue this in the next episode of mandarin mandarin tortillas with yogurt Ma something 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 ah, they use a lot yogurt tortillas with mandarin there we go okay i got it out toodles